hero without uniform, unknown, unsung, but always on guard, protecting you against crime. <laughs> I know. I know he's a closing time. He's a closing time, but there's not enough of money in here for him. Ah, uh, you're not worried about that cheap crumb, are you? Sure thing I'm worried. Any man with half a brain up the stairs is a worry just like me. Well, you better not come around here and start making trouble. You're not well, Papa. You can't stand excitement like that. Mamma mia. My own thought is to tell me I, I, I'm not well. I know I'm not well. What am I to do about it? I'll tell you, you stay here and close up the store. Charlie won't be in the body. Hey, where do you think you'll go? I'm going to tell him off. No, I tell you, no. Papa, I'm a big girl now. I can take care of myself. Marie, he's a bad man. He's hurt you. Now, don't worry about me, Papa. You just stay here and, and close up the store uh, and but take it nice and easy. Maria. Now, do like I said. And by the time you get home, I'll, I'll have a nice big supper waiting for you. Bambina mia. This had better be nothing less than the end of the world. Sorry if I woke you up, Brady. You're sorry. What's the matter? It's on me again. Look, uh, I've got a murder. They meet me at Alfredo's food fair. On East Hickory, 725 East Hickory. Brady, answer me. If I said what's on my mind, they'd take out my telephone. You say this guy's name is Alfredo Tozzoli, Lieutenant? Yes, that's right. He owns the market. This is his daughter, Maria. How do you do? I examined the body, Brady. Looks to me like he was slugged behind the ear and then hit the back of his head against the metal corner of that uh, milk case. I see. Well, it wasn't robbery. I know. I checked that myself. There are over forty dollars in there. Hey, what's this? Maria. Hmm. How did your father manage to make so much money in this store? So much? Over $300 is a pretty fair day's take. We didn't have that much. Not more than $78. Papa counted it just before closing. This check is for $260. Was that today? Papa never cashed a check in his life. He didn't believe in them. Must have cashed this one. Charles... I might have known. Pop didn't cash this check. How do you know? I... I know the man it belonged to. Charlie Pacina? Sure, I know him. I knew what he was the first time he ever walked into this place. Suppose you tell us what you know about him, Maria. I'll tell you, all right. It was just a few weeks ago he first came around. Just after we started to make a go of the business.
Mamma mia, it's beautiful. You like it, Papa? <laughs> si, I copied it from the way they fix the things in the big supermarket. Supermarket? <laughs> Maria Carissima. <laughs> you know, you too smart for the big girl. I always say like that. Uh, I remember Mama used to say you were mad when I was born. You wanted a boy. Boy? Boy? No, no, boy. <laughs> Could a boy do a thing like this? No. He, he run around, he shoot the pools, you know, be here and help his poor puppy in a grocery store. <laughs> oh, no, no, Maria. No boy for me. Just you. Hey, I hate to break this up. Uh, it's all right. Help yourself like in a supermarket. Uh, then you pay. You own this joint, Pop? That's all right. Oh, Fred at Tazari. Say hello to Charlie Christine. Uh, I'm glad for to know you. You walk around here? You live here? No. You're on business, Pop. Oh, that's so nice. So you hadn't had your story here too long, so I guess you uh, don't know about our neighborhood association, do you? Oh, I'm a like association. That a boy, Pop. Because associations like ours take care of guys like you. Huh? Well, guys that don't value but property like this and uh, don't want anything to happen to him. But uh, how's it that? That's simple. You just pay us dues every month and we see that nothing happens to your store. The shake gun. You get out of here and leave us alone. Hey, is this your kid? Maria, uh, you, you go home. You deal with me. Sure, Pop, I'll deal with you. What's your name, baby? None of your business. Get out of here or I'll call a cop. No, please, do that. please. No, no, listen to, to Maria. She, she's a young. She no understand. Yeah. You deal with me. I, I, I join up. I, I'm a join. Now, you leave my little girl alone, huh? You got me all wrong, Pop. How much you want I should pay for this protection? Don't do it, Pop. Don't no. sign. It's a racket. I'm going to call the police. No, Maria, no, no, no. If we no pay, you wreck the place. Matter I pay and I save a lot of trouble, huh? Got a nice joint here, Pop. Real nice joint. Hey. You're a pretty good business. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put you down for a C a month. A C? Yeah. It's a uh, hundred dollars. You pay the, the first of every month. How's that? No, we won't do it. Go ahead. Wreck the store. We won't pay. Marie. Maria, stop. No, listen to Maria. She, she's excited. I'm on this place. I will pay. Okay, Pop. See, that's Alfredo's... Alfredo's food fair. He's tickery, right? One C. Um, okay, Pop. Now you're a member of the association. Uh, now you get out of here. Well, look, I figured now that we had business for hey, out of the way, hey, maybe you and I can get not in a deal. Now, you leave him Maria alone and we have no trouble. Okay, Pop. She'll change her mind. Oh, uh, when you do, baby, this is where you can find me. Oh, that's the way I like him. I'll see you on the first, Pop. It uh, sounds like a small-time hood to me. Have you got his address? My father kept the card under the corner of the register. Well, we look him up. Did your father ever pay him the money? Last month, we paid him $100 all we could do to scrape it together. Then this time, Papa counted the money and there wasn't enough. What did you do? Just before closing time, I went out to look for Priscina. I wanted to keep him away from the store. Did you find him? No. Finally, I, I went home to cook Papa's supper. When he didn't come home, I, I got worried. So you came back here to the store? Yes. Yeah, I found... Oh, Papa! 
Supposing you had found Persina, what were you going to do? Agree to have a date with him. Weren't you afraid of him? Afraid? No, Lieutenant, I wasn't afraid. Now, look, that's a concealed weapon. Give me that before you get in trouble. All right, Maria, you go home now and wait for us to call you. Just one more thing, Brady. The bag of groceries was found right there. Looks like somebody left in a hurry. And left their uh, market list behind. Before you got here, I checked the groceries against the list. They belong together, all right. You don't find many typewritten market lists. On the face of it, it looks like a late shopper came in, got the groceries, and came over here to the counter to pay. Then they saw the old man lying on the floor here, ran out without the package. Sounds reasonable. But I still want to check the list. Take it to Doc Courtney, Brady, and have the lab work yeah. on it. Oh, uh, how about Persina? Have him picked up. I want to question him tonight. Yeah. Uh, you hungry? No. What? Oh, you talked me into it. I guess I better eat while I still have the strength. you want from me? Look, sure I knew the old guy, but so did a couple hundred other people. That doesn't say I killed him. Did you go to a store last night? Not me. Why not? Or why should I? Last night, your shakedown money was due. Look, somebody's been kidding you, Lieutenant. I'm not in any protection racket. I'm a legitimate businessman. What kind of business? I run a pool hall on 14th, the idle hour. That's a nice place, too. That's a lie. I what do you there. take me for? Some punk that ain't been around. I got my rights. You got nothing on me. You shut up and sit down. Were you at your pool room last night? Yeah, until 3.30. And I got the names of ten witnesses to prove it. How did you get Alfredo to cash that check for you? Look, Alfredo never cashed no check for me. Well, what do you call that? Call it a forgery. When were you in the service, Piscina? Are you kidding, Lieutenant? Lieutenant, I've got this guy's record here. He's had one conviction. Draft evasion. Does that answer your question, Lieutenant? I sat out the war in the federal pen at Lewisburg. All right, Piscina, get out of here. Makes you feel kind of silly, doesn't it, Lieutenant? Look, Piscina, I got up in the middle of the night. My disposition is very sour. Now you get out of here before I forget myself. It's a pleasure. Blackfoot. Put a tail on him, Brady. It's not our department, but if it's the last thing I do, I'm going to get him for the protection racket. I got that taken care of, Lieutenant. I gave the word downstairs. Incidentally, the Bunko Squad has been uh, having a run on these things. Oh, another forgery? Yeah. It's the fifth one that's turned up in the past week. They range from 50 to over 100 bucks. How much does Bunko know about it? Well, they know that all the signatures are forged by the same person. It's the same old racket. VA insurance dividend comes due, and all of a sudden the whole town is fluttered with these phony veterans' checks. Mm. Rackets like this wouldn't exist if the public paid any attention to the government's instructions. Yeah. And Bunko hasn't got any other leads, huh? Well, they know they're all typed with the same machine, that's all. Seems that there's a peculiar smudge on the letter E. An E? Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. Looks like the machine used to type these two checks was the same one used to type the market list. I think so, too. We'll send it to the lab to make sure typewriting is as individual as handwriting. You know, it looks to me like uh, the guy that left those uh, groceries behind last night will turn out to be the counterfeiter. Maybe even an eyewitness to the murder. Yeah, could be. 
you want me to uh, take this stuff and turn it over to Doc Courtney at the lab? Yes, do it on your way downstairs. Right. And, Brady, I want you personally to pick up the tail on Pacina. Follow him everywhere he goes. Yeah. Looks like the guy who's passing these checks is working this section. Keep your eyes open. You may run into him. Right. Now, you're here again. Why, the first month rolls around fast. Well, wait a minute. I'll go get your money. Skip it. But what is it all about? It's the, today's collection day. Get up later. I just dropped in to let you know. Any objections? Oh, all right. It suits me fine. Always got a game going on in the back room? Yes. Have another one? No, thanks. What do I owe you? One dollar even. Say, I wonder if you'd do me a little favor. What's that? Well, my wife and I just moved into the neighborhood. We don't know any people around here, and I just got my dividend check from the VA. I'm looking for someone to cash it. Oh, a government check. Well, now, maybe I can take a chance with it. I'd sure appreciate it, mister. It's for $72. You got that much cash? You're lucky. I just happen to have it. Here. Thanks. Yeah? I'll be within a minute. There you are, 72. Thanks a lot. It's for your trouble. Thanks. No mention. I'll take that what? check. It's all right from the police. You'll get your money. Well, no, I don't want the trouble. Here, how about your beer? I'll take a rain check. Well, Lieutenant, we got a break. What happened, Brady? Where's Pacino? I got Thompson on his tail. I just made an arrest. An arrest? Yeah, I picked up that counterfeiter in a bar. He was passing another one of those phony checks. I let him go, followed him home. When I got there, I got an eyeful. Hi, honey. How'd it go? I got it. Herb, it's two dollars short. All right, I spent a dollar for drinks and I tipped the sucker who cashed the check a buck. Maybe you'd like me to go back and get it, huh? Okay, honey, don't get your back up. Okay, but this whole deal is starting to get on my nerves. <coughs> What's this? Some more names. I thought you could make out a couple more checks tonight. Just a minute, Lee. Don't go pressing your luck too far. We'd better chuck this right now and get out of town. <laughs> oh, don't be a dope. Just when everything's going so smooth. Yeah, maybe it won't look so smooth. They pick us up one of these times, eh? Oh, now, look. Look, we've had this out before. The racket's only good as long as there are a lot of dividend checks out. we got to milk it while we can. I don't like it. Now, look. Here's a list of 20 names. We find out if they're the right age, and then we make out the checks. Uh, now, look. It's our last batch. After we cash these, then we can blow town. I don't want to do it. My nerves hasn't been the same since this thing happened. If you listen to me, would have been in Mexico long ago. Now look, honey. Remember what we said when we started this? I don't care what we said. It's different now. Am I any different now? Oh, I didn't mean that, Lee. I mean things are different. We said we wouldn't get scared off till we made enough to live on. I didn't know what was going to happen. Did it make any difference? It does to us, honey. Break it up. Hey, who are you? What's the big idea? Big idea is we've got a date at headquarters. And this is the list the girl was working on, eh, Brady? That's right. Where are they now? Cassidy of the Bunko Squad is grilling them downstairs. When he's through, have them sent up here. I want to find out which one of them was in the store when Alfredo was killed. We've probably got ourselves an eyewitness. Oh, 
what's the idea? I gave you an alibi. You got nothing on me. The least you're going to get out of this piscina is an extortion rap. <laughs> Kelly, send Brady in with those two. Hey, what are you trying to pull on me? You'll find out, Piscina. Right in there. Here they are, Lieutenant. The guy's name is Herb Franks. His girlfriend here calls herself Lee Grand. Say, what are we doing here? This is the homicide department. Herb, which one of you typed those phony checks? Don't be coy, Mac. You already made a full statement down the hall. I did. Well, then you made out this market list. You can't prove that. We can prove the machine that typed this list also typed those checks. Is that good enough? Okay, she typed the list. So what? What do you want to do from us? One of you was in Alfredo's market when he was killed, or just after. Which one was it? Neither one of us. Come on, you can do better than that. Okay. Herb went to the market and he killed the old man because he didn't like his vegetables. Is that what you wanted to say? How'd you do it? He choked him with the market list. You trying to be cute or you just trying to bluff your way out of this? Mm -hmm. Were you around Alfredo's market last night about nine? Why are you asking us questions like that? We're looking for an eyewitness to a killing. Eyewitness? You mean that I see the killer? Yeah, this guy over here. You might as well admit it, Herb. Yeah, he saw him. Yeah, I did. I saw this guy coming out of the marketplace when I went in there last night. And right after that, you found Alfredo dead on the floor. Is that right? That's right. Only I got scared and ran. I left my groceries there. You must have found them. We found them. So this is the frame you... you the matter, Priscina? Did you forget that we frisked you? Priscina, I told you we were holding you for extortion. I didn't mention anything about murder. But I saw him there, I tell you. Don't do, Herb. Priscina has an airtight alibi. He's got a dozen witnesses. He fixed them. Anybody can fix a witness. Not all of them. One of those witnesses happened to be a detective from the Bunko Squad. That's one he couldn't fix. So you see, her by lying about Priscina, you've practically given us a confession. He tricked you. Look, honey, don't, don't say another word. I'll get a lawyer right away. I don't want one. <laughs> it's almost a relief. Come on, son. You want to tell us about it? Sure. Was neat. A perfect racket. Only she wouldn't let me quit. It was always one more job. Shut up, Herb. You're talking yourself into the chair. I forged Pacina's name on the check and took it over to Alfredo's market to cash. I didn't know Pacina here from the man in the moon. I take his name out of the book. The old guy knew Pacina and he started to raise a stink when he saw the check. He knew it was a phony. He reached for the phone and well, I, I swung at him. I hit him behind the ear and he fell like a ton of bricks. I saw his head hit the end of the milk case and I didn't wait for anything else. That's it, Lieutenant. Why, you fool. You just put yourself away for life. Now what am I going to do? You're going to do time, sister. Time. Famous jury trials, the dramatic story of our courts, where the guilty and innocent stand before the bar of justice. Draw near, give your attention. For the defense, Jack O'Malley, Esquire. The State versus Calvin Martin. For the State, Harvey Johnson, Esquire. Judge Cyrus Russell presiding. Mr. Prosecutor, do you wish to open for the people? Your Honor, I have no statement to make at this time. 
Does the defense wish to address the court? Yes, Your Honor. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, the story of how Kenneth Lester actually died has been carefully pieced together by my staff. And it is the story that I intend to prove to your satisfaction. Now for some background. Kenneth Lester was 30. His wife, 25. They'd been married two years. Tragedy seemingly stalked Kenneth Lester and his wife from the first day of their marriage. Out. Look, Ken. This can't go on any longer. Good. What are you going to do about it? I'm... Let me see that. How can you be so low? Look, I'm in no mood for any chit-chat from you tonight. I'm getting tired of working while you sleep all day and prowl all night. We're in different shifts, baby. What you do on the night shift is beginning to annoy me. Do you realize you haven't worked for the last two years? Do you think I enjoy making the living? Why not? Don't I make it worthwhile? I don't like the idea of you buying watches for dames with my money. And stop doubting yourself with that foul-smelling stuff. You kidding? This is stuff I won you with. Ken, I'm fed up. I can't take it any longer. Look, Margaret, I'm tired of your beefing. If you don't like it, you can blow. Oh, so it's finally come to that, has it? What you need is a good beating, and I'm going to give it to you. What are you trying to do? Do you ever see a dame in the water after she's been there for a couple of days? She looks awful. You ain't bad looking alive. Now, what do you say? Suppose we get a little grub and some hot coffee and maybe it isn't as bad as it looks, huh? And with a look of boyish innocence in